Hey guys, it's Millie with Crafting in My PJs and I am so excited. I just visited my favorite store in the entire world. Not really, but yes, it is my favorite store for crafting supplies and guess what I found. Of course, I'm talking about Dollar Tree and on the $5 aisle, they had this <gasps> tumbler spinner battery operated. So, you know, all of those glitter glasses that I've been making and just sealing with Mod Podge because I didn't have a tumbler? Well, now what do you think for $5? Do you think this really works appropriately enough for epoxying tumblers? I don't know. So what I thought we'd do today is we would take the tumbler, we would unbox it, we would put it together, and then we would test it out and see what happens. So in the meantime, I took, this is like a used cup, like one out of my niece's cabinet, and don't ask, it's a long story. So I glittered it real quick with just some pink glitter. So it's sitting over here completely drying. And I actually bought the other day, not this visit, but another visit, I bought the resin, um, the epoxy resin kit from Dollar Tree. Again, it's on the $5 rack and it's three ounces each. So six ounces total. I didn't do, um, uh, I didn't do a comparison to see if that was cheaper then maybe the resin you get at Home Depot, or, I mean at um, Hobby Lobby or anything like that. So I don't know. I just bought it because it was there and it was $5 and I said, oh good, let's have it just in case I want to epoxy something. So um, here it is. Let's give this a try. All right, down to the table. Okay, so let's open this sucker up. It says it's battery operated. Um, that's all fine and dandy. Here are the instructions for putting it together. Uh, I peeked at it already. It's pretty much just pictures. Um, I would really like to see if it has an outlet. Oh, it does have the foam so that it can go inside the cup. I know you can't see me reaching over. All right, there's the tube. I, I would hope that it ha would have a, um, an adapter so I can plug it into the wall because it kind of makes me a little nervous that um, it runs only on battery. Um, so it looks like it takes four double A's. Okay. And here's some pieces. All right. So let me get this sucker put, to <laughs> put together. And I'm going to follow the instructions and I'm going to come back to you and I'm going to show you how easy it goes together and um, put the batteries in and we'll see how it spins. Be right back. Okay, I think everything is in place. Let's just give it a little turn on. Oh, that's really slow. I don't guess it goes any faster. Oh, 
I'm not sure how fast real ones go, like, you know, ones that you spend more than $5 for. I tested all of the batteries to make sure. Now, the funny thing is, I have extra screws. Okay, so it does turn. All right. All right. I did. I had three extra screws. I have to see where they go. I mean, there's got to be a point. And then it said attach connection part to motor assembly uh, with a flathead screw. There were no flathead screws. Uh, oh, oh, let's see. Attach motor, screw on five pointed screws. All right, it's not turning anymore. Wait, wait, how can it not be? T oh, okay. So, all right, let's turn it off. Let's look down. All right, so it says what, oh, there's one right there. Okay, five pointed screws. Okay, which they gave you six of those. So I guess if you lose one, you know, you have a way to get it to to still do this. Okay. All right. There's the fifth screw. All right. So I have the five on the bottom. And then the small pointy screw. Mini size pointy screw for, oh, well, once you have this on. Now, so I guess this keeps this in place. I don't feel any place it's supposed to specifically go. So I don't know if you're supposed to, having never seen an actual one of these, I don't know. Maybe that just... We'll put it there. Just keeps it, I guess, from moving. Alright, so we're going to put that back on. And we'll put this back on. And we'll put this back on. I think this probably needs to go further in. Though it doesn't really tell you that. Alright, let's turn it on. All right. Okay, so it's a very slow turn. We're going to watch it for just a minute because a few minutes ago it stopped as things... I want to make sure that stays on because if it shifts, that seems to have a problem. All right. Okay. All right, so now when I come back, we're going to mix up some epoxy and we're going to try putting it on. But I have to go get some rubber gloves and I have to go um, get a container to mix the epoxy in. And um, yeah, and then we'll give it a shot. All right. Okay, I'm so excited. I'm so excited. We are ready to try out this cup turner. I don't have high hopes, like I said previously in the video, um, but we're going to give it a shot. I had to get some gloves from my son uh, instead of going out and buying some on my own. All right, so the resin I'm actually going to use is this one from Dollar Tree, and it's $5, um, six ounces total. I'm just going to do 15 milliliters, which will be 30 milliliters. Um, to start because like I said I don't really have any any high hopes for this actually working long enough or well enough and I'm really hoping I'm wrong alright A is gone in our first one we did mark off with a black marker so they can see where the line is because I don't know who makes these cups, but you can't see the lines. Okay. At least not when they're down on the table and you're trying to mix, right? All right. So here's part B. 
right, my watch telling me you can still do it. All right, so this is part. Oh, I guess I did not do that well. Oh, there's still a piece of plastic there. All right, we're looking about even. Now, I'm following the instructions that are on the resin bottle, and this particular one says after you um, mix A and B, and I really think B needs just a touch more. Um, after you mix it, you stir, and you stir for this is B. This is B. You stir for three to five minutes. Now that is quite longer than the other resin I did. I don't remember. Maybe I stirred for three minutes. I don't know. I don't know. All right. So we are going to pour B into A. Oh, I think that's going to be plenty enough. I could be wrong. But I think it's going to be plenty enough. Have my handy dandy stick here. All right. So we have it. Oh. Oh my goodness. Rusty and Peanut came to visit. How do you like that? I wonder what's going on with them. All right. So we're going to stir um, for three to five minutes, which I have no idea how I'm going to time that because, you know, I'm talking to you. So I'm going to stop this, and after two minutes, I will come back. All right, so it has been three minutes for sure, plus, oh my God, it's hardly turning at all. I just turned it on. Oh, this is so sad. Okay, there we go. I wonder if you just have to encourage it every now and then. All right, so we're going to pour... Can you tell I can't talk and do this at the same time? Like, I can't concentrate and um, pour on. Doesn't. All right, so I can tell you right now, it keeps sliding off of the um, the uh, the the foam thing. It is turning. It is turning extremely slow. But I've never done resin cups, so. Maybe that's how it's supposed to turn. Um, I don't know. I think I probably had a little too much resin. After all, I'm trying to smooth out. I watched a bunch of videos in the past about uh, resin cups because it was something I had kind of wanted to do. But... Um, You know, see, I think I had too much. All right, so I'm going to watch it, and I will come back in 30 minutes, and I will let you know how we... Oh, 
Oh my God, it stopped again. Don't stop. Come on, keep going. Keep going. All right. Hmm. Okay, I'll be back in 30 minutes. So the next morning, this is what I found. All of the vinyl or the epoxy had pulled to one side because it fell off the turner. Now the turner was still turning. So, after thinking this was the worst product in the world and I was going to give it a horrible review, my husband pointed something out to me. Over here, that was originally inside the cup. I took never having worked with turners or um, turners, yeah, with epoxy. I thought, well, let me shave down because this seems awfully wide to me. Let me shave it down just a little bit so it'll go all the way into the end of the cup and it'll hold really well. Well, what happened was by me shaving it down right there, it caused the cup to become unbalanced. And because it was unbalanced, it kept sliding off and then the whole thing would stop and I push it on. I used my camera stand to try and brace it at the end so it wouldn't come off. And then I woke up to, of course, somewhere in the middle of the night, it did come off and everything had kind of melted to the bottom. So I said, well, to give this product a fair shake, let me take the pool noodle off, put it back on the other way so it's legitimately on, completely full, not, sha not shaved down on the inside. And guess what? It has been turning now for three hours and is looking great. Not only that, but the resin, the epoxy looks great too. And that I have one bad spot. Don't look at that. And that was there before because I took the cup. I basically was able, because of where it all sunk, I was able to cut everything off and start over. It was weird, but I could. Is that normal? I have no idea. Um, so I, I just, I did have one bad spot when I, I don't know. Anyway, you know, this was a test cup. It's a free cup. What can I say? So I put it back on the turner just as a test and boy, it was going. So I went ahead and I re-glittered it and I put it back on. I changed out the batteries, but when I tested them with my battery tester, they were still pretty full. Like it didn't seem to draw down the battery life too much. So it's been going for three hours now. We'll come back tomorrow morning because that'll be almost 24 hours. I don't know. Does it need to go that long? I'm not sure. Um, I know it needs to go at least a good eight hours because of what happened yesterday. This, uh, this epoxy resin from Dollar Tree, it does not say if it is quick set. It does not say if it is low odor. And those are really the only two things I didn't even know about quick set. I did know about low odor. Um, it just says leave it to dry for 24 hours. Um, I do know when I woke up this morning, which meant it would have been turning and drying for about 10 hours. It was, it was hard to the touch. So I, I have a feeling that possibly I could turn it off before I go to bed tonight and that'll give it a good eight hours turning. I might leave it overnight and just let it go, but we'll see. All right. We'll be back. Well, the Turner ran for about nine hours yesterday. I'm not even sure if that was like if I needed all nine hours, but let me tell you, 
it ran for the whole nine hours. The cup did not fall off. Um, it did not stop. My cup came out perfect, except for my mark right here, which is actually in the glitter, not in the, the, uh, the epoxy. So number one, the epoxy from Dollar Tree seemed to work pretty well. And um, the turner worked okay. So what does this mean? I mean, I know I need another coat and all that other stuff, and I'm going to do that. Um, but, all right. So for somebody like me, who is not a tumbler, an epoxy tumbler maker, on a very consistent basis, this, I think, it would work fine. I mean, it's $5. Uh, one of the drawbacks, is that you cannot plug it into the electricity. So it has to run on batteries. That scares me. What if your batteries die? I have a battery tester, and so I'm putting fresh batteries in every time. Um, but that's, that's a fear. Number two is, I am pretty sure this motor is not strong enough to handle consistent use. Occasional use, like I do, yeah but not consistent use. Um, the pluses about it is it came with everything. The directions were easy, putting it together. Um, gave me more screws than what I needed. You know, that's always a plus. Had the foam, do not <laughs> round off your edges, or I'm sure that there are other ways to help keep a cup on, but I, I do notice I definitely need more epoxy up here at the top. Um, but as long as I left it on the original foam without me, the part I shaved, it stayed on. Um, it didn't come off. I don't know what you do about things like I have a champagne flute, flute so it's long and thin. I, it was in another video that I had painted and put a little bit of glitter on and now I want to epoxy it. How do I get that to stay on the end? I mean, obviously it can't go around there. Do maybe a whisk in the kitchen as a, a hollow edge that I could add to the end of this. I, I don't know. I'm gonna have to look into it and talk to some people I know that do do glitter. Um, but all in all, it impressed me way more than I expected it to do. And if I had actually used it originally like it was packaged to be used, I don't think I would have had trouble the first round with the epoxy. Um, so, so like I said, if maybe you are an occasional tumbler epoxy maker like me, like once a month or once every few weeks, this will work perfectly fine if you're okay with the batteries and if you're okay with, you know, like, I, I really think, I, I don't know if I trust it, but then, anyway, I'm babbling. All right, guys, I hope you enjoyed this, this, uh, this test out video, this testing out this tumbler from Dollar Tree, this tumbler turner from Dollar Tree. All right, that's it, guys. Um, if you like this video, thumbs up, please. If you don't mind, like it and um, subscribe to the channel if you like these kinds of videos. And I guess that's it. All right, guys. Have a great day. Bye.